Hello, this is Dr. Darkness bringing another video about Kingdom Hearts 3 in this case. Uh, now I'm sure we're all believing it's going to be great at the moment, I'm pretty much certain of that. But there are a few things I want to either see or not see in the game I thought I'd bring to you here. I was going to do this as a top 5, but it seemed easier to me to just keep it at a discussion where I'll go over a few issues that I want. Uh, just to say, I'm not saying Kingdom Hearts 3 will be bad if these things aren't there or if some things are. I just think these will make it better. Anyway, let's get started. I want a multi-character storyline in the game. I'm all in favour for keeping Sora the main protagonist. I think that's what should happen for major Kingdom Hearts games. Um, but I think we need more, for, especially in the final battle. Based on the teaser trailer, we may start the game as young Zayn or a young Master Ericus, possibly, before coming to now and being Sora and the others. Throughout the game, I think there should be three different parties controlling Sora, Riku, and Kairi, giving us Kibei wielders at different stages of training. So you get Sora, who's obviously a very experienced wielder, he's been doing it for quite a while. And Riku's now a master, so he's the best of them all. And then Kairi's a beginner. Uh, and then you sort of tie their levels together. Maybe uh, we begin as Kairi, who will be as strong as Sora was in the first game. And then when you get to a certain level, or you've done a certain amount, then Sora sort of takes over, and he takes over a level, like he did with Roxas in Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, and then at the end you be Riku, who's like the most powerful of them all. So you're already on a high level when you start off, when you become Sora, and then even higher when you become Riku. Uh, and then at the end you could play as these three, as well as Aqua, Ventus, maybe Terra, Lee, Roxas, and of course, King Mickey. For the final clash, we should be able to play as all of the Guardians of the Light, and I think this is important. It would seem silly to set the seven lights against the darknesses just for Sora to take them all out himself, like in Kingdom Hearts 2. Uh, we need different characters, including, I think, playing as Mickey, Sora, and Aqua, Riku, or Terra, or something, in the final battle against Master Xehanort. It could work with just Sora, but I really hope we get a bit more this time. Secondly, I want to feel like it's really an adventure. Like we are really searching the galaxy or whatever it is for the key to return hearts or whatever. The world map should be similar to Kingdom Hearts 2, but we shouldn't know what world we're in until we land, I think. That was one thing in Kingdom Hearts 1. Everything felt new and mysterious. I want that feeling to return, if it is a multi-character storyline. I want to visit different worlds with each character. I don't know, Sora goes to Treasure Planet, Riku to Robin Hood, Kairi to Emperor's New Groove, whatever. We don't need to send different characters on different quests to the same worlds as in Birth by Sleep and Dream Drop Distance. There are also small things. For example, if I walk up to a door, I want to see Sora or whoever open the door, rather than it just fading away. It all just adds a bit more to the immersion. I want to feel like I'm really in the game. These small things all contribute to this. Next, I want this to be a closing of the Xehanort saga completely. I don't want Xehanort to remain in any form. He, and all of his other forms, Ansem, Xemnas, whatever, have to be killed or destroyed at the end of the game so we can move on once the game is finished to something new. Also, we need to start getting ready for future titles, so maybe some sort of teaser like a secret boss as in the first two games in Birth by Sleep, or a post credit scene possibly like in Kingdom Hearts 2 and the first game as well, I think. Uh, which could sort of set us up for Kingdom Hearts 4 and beyond. I want Kingdom Hearts 3 to be long. On 1.5 I managed to complete the first game on beginner admittedly in less than 5 hours. This should not be possible in Kingdom Hearts 3. We should have more worlds, maybe 20 rather than the 13 that's in most games. And these worlds should be much bigger as well. I like the way that we revisited worlds in Kingdom Hearts 2. It sort of showed that something happens after you've done the first thing. And, yeah, I'd like that to continue. You return to the world to finish off that story. Additionally, I want a ton of extra material. Multiple tournaments of, that might be a bit more varied than normal. More and better mini-games. Loads of secret bosses. Think, in Kingdom Hearts 2, we could face harder data versions of every organization member. Maybe we could have this for every boss we've faced in all of the games. That sounds big, but maybe even some sort of Mirage Arena thing on a bigger scale. Maybe combining fights, you know, something like fight Maleficent at the same time as Hades. And that brings me on to my next point, which is online multiplayer. Like it or not, online multiplayer is a very important part of the modern gaming world. And there will probably be something like it in Kingdom Hearts 3. 
like a Mirage Arena type thing. You may be fighting five organization members at once or something, but then you could have other people fighting with you. Uh, as it won't be included in 2.5, I think it is important for there to be something in Kingdom Hearts 3, even if it's just small, where you get a chance to play with your friends, or if what's well, hopefully the case that my channel's grown enough by then, I could play it with my viewers. Uh, if I have enough by that point, the Kingdom Hearts fan base is almost like a family, and it would be a nice touch for Square Enix to allow us to play the game we've been waiting for for half our lives together, as well as alone. Next, something about the worlds. Uh, I want a mix of old and new, of course, we'll get that, but it would be nice maybe to branch out a bit. Maybe a bit of Pixar, uh, and some of Disney's live action films, like Narnia or whatever. Um, but there's something else I'd like to see, which is a, it's, um, it's just a small idea I have. Combine Disney universes into a new story to make a better world. For example, maybe the mice of Cinderella can communicate with those from the Great Mouse Detective, or Captain's Hook ship could meet up with the ship from the Treasure Planet, maybe. Uh, something I'd sort of like to see, I'm not sure if it will happen. It seems Frozen will appear in Kingdom Hearts 3, given that Tai Yasui can't give an interview these days without saying how much he loves it. But on top of that, I would like other worlds to combine with each other. I don't know if any would work with Frozen, but something to think of. Finally, the music. Throughout the series, it's been great, and I expect that to continue, but something needs to happen. It has seemed confirmed at one point, but we're not so sure now. You all know what it is. Yutada Haikaru needs to sing a brand new song for Kingdom Hearts 3. This is something that is necessary. Simple and clean is great, Sanctuary is great, but we need something new, especially as it's a numbered title. Kingdom Hearts wouldn't be the same without her, and I really want her to come back for it. Hopefully we'll get confirmation soon. Anyway, those are some of my hopes for Kingdom Hearts 3. What do you want to see happen? Please comment in the uh, comment section below. Like this video if you did, subscribe to my channel for more Kingdom Hearts content, follow me on Twitter, as always my name is in the description, and thank you for watching. On both counts. Yes, he did. That dull, ordinary boy. A keyblade wielder so unlike any I have ever seen. However, I have not abandoned my ambitions. The seven guardians of light and the thirteen seekers of darkness. All of the pieces are destined to appear. Your seven lights, just like my thirteen darknesses, whose final clash will beget the prize I seek. The, the Keyblade! Key